Agora TV. The world is thinking. Karma rebirth functions socially in much the same way that belief in God and the will of God does in a, a, a theistic culture. I mean, a simple example. You have um, a couple who give birth to a child who has some enormous learning difficulties, let's say. In a pre-modern culture, a, a Christian couple would say, well, this must, I don't understand this, this doesn't make sense, it must be the will of God. A Buddhist couple would say, I don't understand this, I don't know what's going on, it must be because of the child's previous karma. So in both cases, such beliefs have served in a way that has given people great comfort, but has effectively drawn upon a system of explanation that has virtually no explanatory power. The problem with the God theory and the karma theory is it explains everything. In a sense, it explains nothing. That's my problem with it, and I'm not sure. I personally cannot accept that sort of metaphysical belief in which I, things I can neither prove nor disprove. And I'm suspicious of consolatory tactics. I believe that the Buddha was not preaching a system of consolation. He was telling us to actually open our hearts and our minds to the world as it is and to find a way to respond to that authentically and truly without grasping at any kind of beliefs or views or faith that somehow uh, deaden the, um, uh, the impact of the dukkha of the world.